snake was on him, dude. Oh gosh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. I got him. I got him. My line broke up high. My line broke up high. There's no way. There's no way. Heck yeah, there is. Big. Oh gosh, got it right there. Mm. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just got done rigging tackle, putting some stuff up. This is the tournament vlog. Start of the tournament is tomorrow. Mark just finished up today. He ended up actually doing pretty solid. He's like in the top 10. Um, right now, it's a pound and a half minimum this week, Travis. Um, has a lot of fish in it, but there's a ton of one pounders. Um, I believe Brent Chapman is leading with 46 pounds at a pound and a half minimum. Caught some really nice fish. I think Mark Rhodes is second, and MDJ is in that top 10. So some guys are really caught a few, but it also is pretty tough. Conditions are okay today. Tomorrow is supposed to downpour, downpour. So we'll get more on that later. But real quick, here I have my little buddy, little Marshall. What up, guys? This is the thing. I figured, you know, we'd start this off and actually subscribe to the channel. I have to look up, your, I promise I'll shout you out on this video. I just, uh, I'll have to look up your comment because you had a great idea. This is the thing, Little Marshall is actually very, very lucky. Like he won, him and I won $50,000 and caught one big fish in the knockout round of heavy hitters. DC won a tournament, uh, uh, won a tournament run Red Crest with him. Just being in the boat, doesn't matter if he's out or in, he's just a lucky, a lucky friend, man. He is, absolutely. So I want him in my boat. Unlike Jimmy Ding, if you guys remember Jimmy Ding, Jimmy Ding's not, and I'm not feeling him, okay? So this is the thing. We're gonna do this. One, <laughs> I wasn't feeling Jimmy Ding. <laughs> Jimmy Ding, hey, he got, uh, he got booted out. <laughs> he got booted. Literally DC like put him on the dock and left him on the dock someday. It, it took him all, he said, forget you, son. So this is the deal. To win this tomorrow, to have them in your boat, you have to be the fastest to tie a polymer knot. And so I'll start it off right here and you have to self-time it. So I'm gonna bring out my phone, I'll start it. You have to start it, tie it, stop it all yourself. And the lowest total amount of time wins and gets to take a little Marshall on the boat. Sound good enough? All right, let's get a rod out. I'll show you guys. Let's see if we can do it. I'll, I'll grab a jig, that way it's just like simple. I'll grab a jig, hold up here, guys. Clock, put that down, stopwatch. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is, you see it's zeros. I'm gonna have to hit that and then start the timing process, okay? And then I'm gonna have to stop it. And then whatever that time is, you guys remember the time and then we'll see who wins. All right, you ready? Set, go. There you go. That's the time. It's just ultimately when it is tied. I did not cut off the tagging. And there you go. I'm not going to say the time. You guys can see it right there. Who's next? I think Adrian. Adrian, you over there? Okay. So you gotta have them side by side. Pick them up and go. How Pick many times did you do it? Huh? One. Yeah, don't lie to me. I did one time. This it's is probably over there practicing. Have, you can't double over the line, though. What do you mean? You can't double over the line. Oh, I always. That's how I tie a pile. Well, you can't double over the line before you hit start. Like, oh, okay. The bear is dang lucky. The bear is lucky. Last time I had Jimmy Ding, I jumped in the water and caught dang four and a half pounders. So hey, they want to throw him out. As soon hey, as I start, I got I got good mojo with Jimmy Ding, then DC leaves him on a dang boat dock. Hey, listen. If you didn't have a little Marshall, the fish wouldn't even got hung up in the brush pile. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I never even would have got the bite. <laughs> All right. So here we are. You ready? Three. Man, I'm nervous, man. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Done. Oh, we're stop. Oh, I hit the oh. wrong. Hey, let me redo that. No. no I didn't hit stop. I hit world clock. Well, I mean, the power you got of video. Messed up. Well, I mean, we that do didn't have. have user error. Huh? I... We do have replay. Did you do it in uh, under 10 seconds? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you had me smoked. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, well, apparently you got the good luck charm. Well, DC got a uh, What'd you do it in? Nine. 
Wow. Dude, I don't even think I could do that. <laughs> let, me see, let me try. I just want to try it again. Now. And 966. Man, he's fast. That's quick, boys. And honestly, I don't know if you can see that. I wouldn't even throw him. There ain't no spit on there. It's all jacked up. It's twisted like this. Hey. All right. You got to tie him up. I walk in a hell of a trash bag. You don't know why? Put me time foul more. Trash. Put that <laughs> in here. There you go. Just go ahead and drop it. Thank you. <laughs> I stink at town of Palomar. It's okay, you gotta try it. I stink at town of Palomar. It's okay, you'll, you'll be all right. Everybody, it's like the most used knot in America. Yeah, I just recently started using it. <laughs> I stink at town of Palomar. Okay. And nobody got to practice, bro. <laughs> I suck. Okay, all right, here we go. Buddy, right. let me tell you something. I don't, all right, let me give this disclaimer out there. I, I used to tie for the longest time. It's just because I had confidence in it. The old fisherman's knot. It, is it an improved clinch is what it's called? Improved clinch. Improved clinch. This old fisherman's not. I just had confidence in it. I never broke off. I mean, like, when I say, like, 15-pound line, I tie a polymer. 17 and 20, majority of the time, improved clinch. I just now got on a polymer game because I like having those two lines in my eyelid. Just for abrasion resistance, stuff like that. Yep. He All right. He's, there's no possible way I'm gonna beat him. This is his knot. I don't even tie this knot a lot, but there's no way I'm gonna beat him. But we're gonna try. It. I, I gotta restart. <laughs> I gotta restart. This jig's like messing me up because he's so like hairy. Twelve seconds. You did it in like six. All right, who won, Brody? You did. What'd you have it in? A 9.12. Nine. Well, I, I could have did it a lot fluid, but like that jig messed me up and I was trying to rush. Yeah, that's the point of it. Let me do it one more time. Hold on, hold on. I wasted like two seconds because I spun the I spun it around because I didn't want my stuff getting twisted. Alright, are we already? Yep. See that that's fast. Eight seconds. That actually was shorter than that. You're way more fluid. Well, that's your knot, though. That's your knot. <laughs> that's your knot. Hey, listen, you I'm going to tell y'all something else. So I, got, gonna... so I got a little more hard. I rigged that one, okay? I rigged that one. Maybe the next time we will do... Dude, we might try an FG knot doing that. Hey, Adrian wants to do an FG knot. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Might... I don't know what you call... I don't know what you call that. What do you call that? What's that? Being, like, very, very good. All like. Right, I... Um, I played baseball my whole life. I've been tying okay. knots my whole life. I honestly, I kind of stink at tying knots. Okay, this is the deal when you tie a hey, You know though? what that old saying is? If you can't tie a knot, tie a lot. <laughs> All right, so this is the deal with the polymer. With four carbon, you go around, under, you keep your finger right there. Yes, I do that. You do that? I didn't do it right then, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then, actually, I did. Then you do this, and then you go, you see that, and you pop them over. Yes. That's the deal so that it doesn't cut into the, the floor. All right, let me see it. That's, That's the deal. So, you don't so I'm gonna tie. I'm gonna tie the knot. I'm Especially tie with your snap set and freaking hook. Tell me. Tell me if this is like I'm gonna tie it like I normally tie it. Yep. Like that. That's the right way to do it. Gonna make sure they're not crossed. I leave my finger in there. Yep. I pull him up, and I put my finger right there. Now. And make sure he's up. That's him. Uh, you might. Yeah, you might be doing it a different way. You make sure he's. Make up. sure he's up. Ain't breaking. Pow. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that oh, All right, y'all. Is that right? Is that right, mechanics? Yeah, that's good. You sure? I'm not so sure. It looks <laughs> okay though. I figure out who, who. Actually, somebody uh, subscriber to the channel actually suggested this. Let's see what he said here. All right, so here's the deal. This is the knot I used to tie exclusively. Go through there, spin him eight times, six or seven, eight times. Go through the bottom, pull him a little bit. Go back to the top. Give him a little push up on the thumb, lick him, pull him down. And I can promise you that's really strong. It ain't coming off. The only problem with that is I got one tag, that one little bitty tag right there is in there and I don't like that because when you're like skipping a jig around docks and stuff, you're not, when you hit a dock or something, that one knot is absorbing a lot of a lot of resistance there and i don't really like that one little tag in there that's kind of mickey mouse to be honest like it's really mickey mouse not it really is but it works this this knot right here is another one that you can tie same way with a polymer 
I don't like this guy. Go out through there with a the pommel like that. And then you do tie the same knot. See what I'm saying? You could have two. I done messed that all up. Sorry, guys. I done messed this all up. You can go through there. And honestly, you can just go ahead and knock, lock him down. But this is one of them complicated knots. And I messed that all up. No, I didn't. There it is. No, I, I messed that one up. I messed him up. Messed him up. This is what some of these guys do, and I don't, I, I, I will never understand this knot. They love, they love it. They go, one, two, three, four. They go right back through there. And they honestly just winch him down. I don't know why they do that. They love that knot. It's tough, ain't it? What is it? Yeah, why do they do that? Because here's the deal. Look at this. Why would I want all of this? Why? Why? I don't. I don't. I don't know why. See that? The three tag knot. Yeah, I'm not about that life. Why? Why would you do that? Why? I mean, if this is the thing. Ultimately, a knot. It does not matter if you have confidence in it. And you don't break it off. Then tie it. Yeah, yeah. That is essentially the same knot as a Palomar. Yep. Why would you tie that? Dang you. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. You ready for this? This is on some game. I know guys that do this. You ready? <laughs> this is not a joke. This is not a game. Dude, get that guy out of here. This is not a joke. Nuh-uh. I know guys that do that, like, like buddy, buddies of mine. Shut up. And that ain't gonna break. Overhand knots? They just tie it just like that, and they reel in bigs. No. Look, try to break this. It ain't gonna break. No. And we're complicating bass fishing. I ain't no way. If you can't tie a knot, tie a lot, hammer. <laughs> Overhand, like, like. Break it. I, it won't. Um, it will never break. How many, how I can boat flip an eight pounder doing that. Three or four. <laughs> I've never seen that cup in my life. This is juice. Oh. Look. Tips with DC. <laughs> Tie three half hitches. Dude, that's unbelievable. Three half hitch knot. I just invented one. Bop, bop, bop. Look, I was in Boy Scouts, man. I know how to tie knots. <laughs> <laughs> Captain tying knots. Oh, hey, that, that, hey. Hey, Adrian. This is got DC tied off three tie half hitches. You couldn't break it. No, I tie that. I tie that no, knot sometimes. Not tie that. Adrian, I tie that knot sometimes. <laughs> I'm serious. Like when you're boogie fishing, man. No, I tie that knot sometimes. You do not. Yes. I don't. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, Y'all thought I tied that knot. But hey, look, if I tied that knot and you walked up to it, you'd say, man, that, this guy's good at tying knots. <laughs> this guy's on his game. He must have been a Boy Scout. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So there you go. I, I did get a little Marshall. DC, I appreciate it. You taught me something about some half hitches and tying knots. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Everybody, everybody on TV. No, everybody on YouTube is going to be like, this guy? This guy. This guy? Hey, this guy won this red This guy won red Duh. <laughs> Duh. Hey, half well, hitches. Well, man. here's the deal, though. Like, it don't matter if you tie knots. As long as they don't break, it's good. It does not matter. I agree. So the moral of the story is tie whatever knot you got, and when he breaks off, blame it, blame it on a, blame it on a spool line or something. <laughs> you got to. Hey, you know that's an old saying too. That it like, <laughs> buddy of mine, he <laughs> called, he called me every now and then. He'd be like, "Man, you ain't gonna believe this. I broke off three times. Three times. Man, I must have got a bad batch of line. He had like twenty <laughs> pound seagull. I'm like, bro, that is not a bad batch of line. That is meat. You can literally catch it a tuna with it. I'm not playing. You go down to the coast, catch a bonito, a bonita, bonito, bonita. Bonita. You yeah. can catch a bonita. I did it. Twenty pound bonita, like a twelve pound bonita, just on twenty pound line. It ain't gonna break. Man, I must have got a bad batch of line. It sound I like you don't know how to tie knots. Yeah, that that that, that happens a lot. He said so. So, so he said. No. So he said back in the day when braided line just first came out, no one knew how to tie a knot. That's what Adrian just said. So, hey, look, FG though, I'm guilty of it. I tied that knot 50, tied it a ton, literally probably 500 times, a lot, way more than that. But anyway, that is a tedious knot, and the biggest thing with that knot is is your tension. 
of your braid. How many times have you did it where it's a little bit off, but you're kind of like, oh, let's roll with it. When you get done, you tie your half inches, and it just slides out. Have you had that? The, no, because the key is with with with, the, with the FG is, is you got to tie first, your first half hitch. The first, one. and you go lock him in. Now, now, I've had it slide out too. The but, first half hitch, and if you got to pay attention when you finish. Okay, so this is the deal. This is basically forget the tournament. This is what not wars. Our version of not worse. <laughs> there you go. We're going to grab a bite to eat. We will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning with Lil Marshall. See y'all in the morning. Mark's in his bed. It's just snoozing, hanging out. I already got, I got me some iced coffee. I'll tell you what. I, I don't, don't hate on me. Don't hate on me. It's hot outside. And I grab some iced coffee at... Some Starbucks iced coffee at a little grocery store. There's a Target or something. And we've actually been using this tumbler every morning, grabbing me a drink of some coffee, ice coffee. It's hot outside, it's warm. I'm telling you, I'm putting on some game. That is the deal. Absolutely awesome. This was the trainer. I know. I'm going on me. Trainer. There was a local there, and I didn't. I didn't you want to pull in. And they were on that spot. And if I had got to fish that, that's where I started the next three days. That's crazy. We'll catch him up today. All right, man, you too. Take it easy on it. Take it. All right. Just finished up gassing up. We got plenty of, uh, plenty of, they're not leaves, like little particles from these trees at the house and the boat. Plenty of them. I got to get a vacuum and put this cover on this thing. All right, anyway, this is the deal. I, I, we have a bet 30 pounds at. I said 30 pounds to cut away. I actually made it to where like I established the cut, what I thought it was gonna cut to be the cut. You'll actually be able to see that in the practice vlog. So two of the guys picked above it. DC and Adrian picked above the cut line, above 30 pounds, what I thought, and then Marg picked below. So right now the cut is actually right about 20 or technically if we doubled one be 23 pounds. So we're looking good on the positive. Maybe win a hundred bucks. We're gonna catch some bass today. Group B is absolutely loaded with guys. Um, I mean, this whole field is absolutely, but it's crazy how many great fishermen are in Group B. So, what do you think, babe? Yeah, your ice. Ice or godly? Unwind this right here. It's still catch bass. Still catch. <laughs> still catch bass. All right, y'all. We're about to take off here in about seven minutes. I'm gonna drop Brody off on the dock. We're gonna take y'all out here on the water. Looks like actually we're not gonna get as much rain as we expected to see. Basically, it's perfect conditions. I mean, it really is just a little bit of wind, a little bit of fishing breeze. They're gonna bite this morning. We just gotta get around them. I was hoping you weren't you weren't in my group. I said, dang. I said, I heard Otter and I was like, ah, ah, I got Otter and Andy in my group? Come on, man. Yeah, the guard definitely having no issue of biting. And you caught one yet? Oh, I had him. Oh, you son of a gun. No. Dang it. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed. I just, just jacked it up. Thought I'd close it in pretty good, but seems like no. And 
that one was not coming off. I said, oh, oh you little sucker. He went, oh! Two times 11 ounces. Yes, sir. There you go, 211. See you later, buddy. Sorry, y'all. Y'all been sort of messed up back here. We're about to roll out. I didn't let me in to roll out anyway. But there he is, digging. Oh, shouldn't have been impatient. I thought he had it good, pretty good, so I just went to swing him, <clears throat> messed around. It's like you just go down through and you're just like, all of a sudden reset back up, one will set back up, and typically like the furthest out docks the best, but this has more depth on it, so I want to go run up the way, probably. Let's go run. There you go. Three pounds, seven out. Sorry, y'all. Three, seven. All right. Three, seven. All right. Let me save that clip. We're good. All right, y'all. Let's freaking go. I was doing a little bit of a... Little. Little. Oh, biggin, biggin, dude, biggin, biggin. I'm gonna slide over here. Okay. Five pounds, two ounces. Five, two. Hey. <laughs> the suckers are, you want one of these? Okay. All right, see you later, baby. Oh. Here. You want, you want a score tracker sheet? Yeah, I'll sign him. Yeah, Appreciate it, thank no you. No problem. Yes, sir. Heck yeah, y'all. Three, four, three, four. We got us a three, four, baby. Like, you're better for a chance of catching the big ones on this. You're better at catching numbers on a lot, but you're isolated, you know? Like, giant one. I don't think he's going to cut it. There he is. Good one, too. Flat touch. Golly. That's a good one. There was, there was another one with him. So let's, yeah, ready? Four pounds, six ounces. There's another one with him. Hold up. Let me slide to the right a little bit. Got it. We'll put the mic on at the end of the period. Dang, snake was on him. Snake was on him, dude. Really? Look at this snake, he was on him. Holy smokes. That snake literally was on him, I boat flipped him. A snake was literally on him. Holy <laughs> moly, I about jumped back in the thing. Two pounds, two ounces. Oh my gosh. 
That sucker was not playing. I thought it was a Lamprey. Heck no. Look at that sucker right there. You see him? Golly. Oh, see, you got, got a little Marshall right here hanging out. That's, that's a good luck charm. I done told y'all. I done told y'all, little Marshall does not play. Little. Little. All right, y'all. Well, it's been a pretty good morning so far, little one. It's not been, it's been a fish catching morning. God, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. That was a freaking big one. Golly. Dang, nabbit. I mean, a six, seven pounder. That's his bait. That's his brother. And that's a little one. That's a little, I mean, the one that bit it would have ate this one. Facts. One pound, 14 <laughs> I'm letting y'all know. Oh my gosh, that was a big one. I'm coming back for you eventually. I couldn't do nothing with her. I've caught two fives already this morning. Lost a four, lost a three. Oh my gosh, that was a big one. When they bite it that hard, you just know instantly it's not a little one. Them little ones just tick it. Tick. Mm, I think I know where I'm gonna go. We'll go down that stretch later. Let's ride. Hi, honey. Hey, darling. So it's like not sucking. No, it's not. Three, two, one, one. We'll see if my pattern holds up. I'm running new water, new places, sort of seeing. I'm sort of switching back and forth between the top water and fishing docks, switching down the bank a little bit. I even pick up a spinner rod from every once in a while, but. We'll just sort of see how, how the second period goes. Typically that second period's a little bit slower than the first. Little one. There's a good one. I saw you get it. Try to get that sucker. He was not coming off. Okay, buddy. Thank you for biting. Stop it, please. Two pounds, 14 ounces. There's a good one right there. Solid one. Okay. Trying to sort of get a vibe for what's going on. How long is this a bite that could happen all day? Is this a bite that I can roll with? How many people are fishing this pattern? It's always something. Just hop off the dock, grab your bait, catch another one. That's what's up. I like that. One pound, 11 ounces. We've not caught a lot of them like that this one today. They've all been really, really good quality fish. So hey, I'm taking every one of them right now. A little one. I figured I've not got a good bite on the bank yet. It's weird. Typically that should be a. Oh gosh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Mmm, five pounder. Golly, bro. I don't, I. I got him, I got him. My line broke up high. My line broke up high, I got him. Hold up, don't, come on you sucker. That braid broke. No, don't do it you sucker. There's no way. There's no way. Heck yeah, there is. <laughs> so what happened with that fish right there literally broke my line and I did not, I thought it was hot. I didn't know how high it was in the water calm. And I'm looking for my line, but I thought it broke closer to the bait. It broke up. I must have had a nick in that braid. Tink, but we got him. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and slide down. Here's a boat sliding by. Um, you got to be kidding me. Four pounds on 12 ounce. Four pounds, 12 ounce. Okay, okay. We got we got to hit it over here. Ready? Um, hold up. We got to get him right. That's the thing. That bell's not doing the right thing. Here, hold up. There you go. That's the sound we wanted to hear. You saw it right here. Four, 12. Thank you, baby. All right, we gotta check that line real quick here. Holy smokes, man. 
That was completely little Marshall for sure. The luckiest bear out there, hands down. I don't care. Jimmy Dean the banana was not the deal. I'm not about Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean was not playing right. I'm just, just letting y'all know that. But that right there was insane. Oh, swapping that over right now though. Sheesh, we've got a bag. There we go. 112. One pound, 11 out. Probably seven, it's almost 17 inches. Poor. I don't like it, how calm it is right here. Oh gosh, that's a big one. Oh gosh, got it right there. Mm. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, the sucker just boiled on it. That's a good one right there. Dude, it is freaking straight meat fast today. Straight meat. Four pounds, one ounce. We are catching dang biggins. Y'all, I'm telling y'all. Hey, woo! I mean, this is one of them days. This is one of them days you just, you just are like, okay. Bigs, 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 okay. I mean, that sucker come out of nowhere and just ate it right there at the trolling motor. Ah, God, <laughs> unreal, that was nuts. Had him right there. Got to get another 15 pounds probably in this next period, man. I'd love to, love to have that one right there. Not a real big one, just a pound and a half, and that's part of it when you're trying to rush and get them in the boat. Yes, sir. There we go. We're getting one. One at a time, one at a time. Look at that beauty. Heck yeah, y'all. We'll just take it our time. Four pounds, 10 ounces. Four ten. Yeah, we're moving on up. Look at that gorgeous fish. I, I'm telling y'all, we are catching, <laughs> hey, we're, we're catching bigs, we're catching fat bag, we're catching tubs, we're catching, hey, we're catching whatever you want to say. This pond right here has got some good ones in it, and it's one of them days that we're just triggering those bites. It's crazy. I don't know how many four plus pound bites I've had today, but it's been a lot. There he is. That was so lucky. I literally stopped the dang bait because I wanted not wanted to show Otter what I was doing, and that makes up for one of them ones we lost. Thanks, Otter driving by he was not coming off either there you go one pound six ounce one pound, I mean, two pound i was like well i was like i was like all right hold up now two six okay i was like hold up hammer hold up hammer like we're gonna have to talk about this when did it say the weather to us thank you All right, we just had a weather delay, y'all. We're gonna go try to find some cover real quick and then head on out. All right, y'all. So they just called us and let us know they're going to call it. It is downpouring right now. The weather's a little crazy. I have flash flood warning, lightning, thunder, all that good stuff. We did ultimately end the day in first place, which is always great, but I'm gonna wait. I'm actually called Brody, let him be, meet me where I'm at, at least like in the closest ramp, get out of here. That way we don't have to run all the way back so I, it was a crazy day like literally like shy, or a snake tried to eat my bass breaking off getting my line catching this big one lost some gee fish it, overall it was an awesome day and i'm ready to get out here on monday and see if we can't seal the deal and qualify for the championship round All right, guys, welcome back. I apologize, I didn't update y'all this morning. I actually went, um, grabbed brunch with my mom and dad, um, with my wife, and so we just sort of hung out there for a minute. 
And uh, to give you all some good news, MDJ had qualified. He's in, he made the cut. Uh, so he qualifies for the knockout round. Now, myself, Adrian, and DC have some work tomorrow. Um, I have to win. These guys have to move up to make the cut. DC is in the cut right now. Adrian is just outside the cut. I think just one, I think two and a half pounds outside the cut. This is the thing overall, like 23 and a half pounds is what it took to make the cut today. Um, I would assume our weights will go up a little bit tomorrow because we did have a shortened day, but I'm not gonna say it's gonna go up a lot. So I think it's probably gonna take around that 22 pound cut line. Um, so anyway, that is sort of what's going on. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. I do have to rake up more rods. I'm just trying to sort of get a couple things together. Not exactly sure what tomorrow is going to bring. It's still gonna be like one of the first sunny days. Today is actually the first sunny day. I know it's like sort of weird to see sun behind this. Like, you know, the whole like not sun, but just bright, you know, bluebird skies. Uh, so I think that could change a couple things and I wanna be prepared for those changes. Um, so you gotta have a whole bunch of rods rigged up. Simple as that. Like the drums way better because they're a little crispier. But you did. No, no, he went this before. Oh no, they're crispy. Okay, let's go. Alright, you guys might get me on this, but this is the thing. I hate mosquitoes. And where I, I wear flip-flops a lot. And the crappy part about mosquitoes are to get at your legs. So what did I do? Yep. Put flops with some socks on, put some pants on. Catch me outside, how about that? We were out here, grabbing my teeth with, with the women, the wives, DC, myself, Mark, Adrian, all that stuff. We just got done smashing some pizza, okay? What is this? How do you, how do you pronounce this, Lee? Gregos. <laughs> Gregos. <laughs> all right, all right let's, so I just got done telling them, actually, about mosquitoes. Before we before we tell you guys, Gregos? Gregos is what the place. Before we get into this, Gregos was pretty solid. Leash, I want to give you an overall. Give me, give me. Everyone knows the rules. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Give it to me. It was a good margarita pizza. Well, you're right. Uh, one in a ten. Do you not even know that deal? Come on. <laughs> I would say it was like a six, seven. Oh, six, six is harsh. Yeah, six is like half a. Really? That, that was like hey, seven. Really? It was like a seven. Eight, 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 eight. Okay, fine. Hell no. The seven. The pepperoni pizza is so much better. So much better. The pepperoni roll was like a nine. The pepperoni roll is good. Pepperoni, pepperoni roll. Okay. okay, so what, what, what's your overall? Eight. Okay. Eight, okay, now. All right, okay. Kara, come on. No. Now, straight up, because you just said Jersey pizza was better, so I want to hear your, your okay, overall. Back, 7.5. Okay, 7.5. <laughs> 7.5. Let me hear it. No, I mean, I would give a 6.5 overall. 6.5. Yeah, I'm rough. I don't know. She's a tough right. crowd. Damn. Sizzle. Dang. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't try the salad, though. I know, the salad's not only all with it. 8.2. Yeah, we're going desperate. Mm. Please. please. Hey, uh, look. Look, I don't even really like pizza like that. But I ate it. It was cool. I had some wings. I did not have the salad, and I did have the what's pepperoni it called? Pepperoni roll. Pepperoni roll. Pepperoni roll. Pepperoni roll. Ten out of ten. Hundred percent. It was. Oh, so I, I gotta consider that to outweigh some other things. Overall, all things considered, six point nine. Dang. Six point nine. <laughs> okay. Damn. So so me and Adrian. Now Adrian lives where there's a lot of great pizza. That's yeah. why. You, now that's that's why Kara also. Pizza was whack. Like wings wings were all right. Pepperoni stick was legit. I'd okay. give it. Uh, I'd give it like a six and a half. Yeah, we got. Wow. They're on the same deal. I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I feel like it was it was okay. But this is the tough let me, thing. Let me, just, let me just tell you something about pizza. Pizza, you need to eat it at the pizza absolutely. Because if you take it out, <laughs> it doesn't have the crisp. Lamp. It yeah, it doesn't no. have that crisp to the bottom. <laughs> so realistically, out of takeout, like I care, you know, like literally someone delivering the pizza, I'm gonna give him a. I mean, for us being on, on the road, was it I, I would say than hot and ready? I, I'm a, it was better than hot and ready. I don't like hot and ready. Oh, I them hot and ready little Caesars. Better. My, my kids love them. Better. Trash. No! I just love them things. <laughs> I trash. I eat them. I disagree. <laughs> I, I eat them. them. I'll eat them. <laughs> They'll make a turd. But they trash. <laughs> but they trash. <laughs> I'm going to say a seven because we've actually been very unlucky on finding solid pizza places we all have, over the country. Right. That, that's that's and, a really good point. And I'm going to say this. So we've, been, years. we've really had a very tough a really tough time on finding good solid pizza. That, that is true. Bro. So on our experiences traveling all over the country, yeah. I'm gonna give this pizza a seven because I think it was way above average for what we have seen throughout the country. So there you go. 
after you have it. We're gonna enjoy the rest of this meal. Mosquitoes, 10 out of 10. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Now y'all saw, I told y'all about the socks. Hey, hey. They put pants on and I got socks on my football. I said, hey, good luck, Good luck. Look at your face, DC, on your face. Ooh, wow, he was on your cheeks. Did y'all see him? No. He had one right there. Dumb with mosquitoes. Boy, they mosquitoes. still ain't as bad as them Yamaha. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't even one. That was a hair on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, we out. We're gonna enjoy the rest of the meal. We had to bring you along, give you a little oh update. God. These mosquitoes are killing us. Yeah, We're going inside. Bro, I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, y'all. Update. Just got up this morning. Follow the flashlight. See the flashlight uh, hold guy. Up. We're trying to do multitask over here. Follow the flashlight guy. Follow the rules, man. There we go. Oh. Okay, so we're here to pick up our boat official. We got some stuff to do. Got to put a mic on right quick. GoPro's on, actually DJI, DJI stuff. And then we got some work to do. Got our work cut out for us. What's going on, Jacob? What about it? Appreciate it. No problem. Nice meeting you. Hey, very nice to meet you as well. Absolutely, here Take you go. Care. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yeah. Baby Sharky. Baby, yeah. Where did you watch Baby Sharky all day yesterday? <laughs> baby Sharky. Baby Sharky. No, today we're detoxing from Baby Sharky. <laughs> detoxing from Baby Sharky. No Baby Sharky today. I think no. you're gonna go play. I think you're gonna go play with Ada and Aunt Tao. I don't know. All right, y'all. We're about to hop in this boat, but before we do that, I'm grabbing my life jacket. It was wet back there, so. This is the thing. I'm gonna show you guys real quick where we're sitting out on Score Tracker right now. Okay, so now you sort of see where we're at. We're a little bit up, 10 pounds up on the closest competitor, but that's not insurmountable on this body of water. You know, I think it's a, a two horse race right now at least to try to have a chance to win. Now I'm not saying somebody couldn't come from behind, but they're probably not gonna burn all their fish. Unless they come up schooling and they're all three, four pounders, which is possible on this body of water. We should have a chance. There should be a one, two, two race. Now on the bottom half, you got DC um, is in the cut right now. Top 20 advance on, pound and a half minimum. Adrian is outside the cut by what? Just basically like two squirrels or one solid fish. He's good to go. He's in there. So we have a little cloud cover this morning. It's warm. Uh, we actually last off here in about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna hop in this boat, drop this thing in the water, and we'll see you soon. All right, get a little morning coffee. If y'all saw the practice vlog, well, y'all know that little iced coffee action. We got him ready to go. I left, I can't believe I left Marshall for, for Adrian. He didn't pick him up. I'm so mad. Yo, bro! <laughs> All right. All right. Good luck. Hey. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> we got some We got some work to do, dang nabbit. Got some work to do. Quick, catch them often. Uh, let's see if we can catch this one. That's the first one of the morning. There's the first one of the morning. I was a little surprised. Dang, now nah, we gotta work our butt off for one. Three pounds, two ounces. There y'all go, right there. Beautiful late Travis bass. It's right back. It's been a little tougher, no wind. That's a good start. I like that quality, man. That quality's so awesome. Get that backlash out, son. That's just how it is. You're gonna try to. You're not always gonna make that perfect cast. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Broke high. Come on. God. We got almost.
almost caught him too. Must have got on that little corner or something and nicked it. I probably you retie, but man, I just did not just I didn't think I got hung up enough. Checked that line, it broke high. Must have had a little fray where it rubbed a little bit of a zebra muscle or something like that that just got it and it's not exactly how you want to do that, man, when you're not getting a lot of bites. Got him over the dang cable. I'll be messing around. My fault. Unreal. Come on now. Oh. What a dang circus. We gotta get we gotta got us one though. Two pounds, six ounces. Alright, we gotta stop them shenanigans, y'all. We gotta stop them shenanigans. We gotta stop that stuff. <laughs> I actually saw that fish and that I saw that fish and I pitched it over there or made a cast and it went skipped and it hit above that went over the cable and he ate it instantly and I'm like you got to be kidding me oh okay let's see what we got here well hey we got some more cut out for us in the second and third Boom. So you can just get one little stretch where it's like boom, boom, big ones. It's huge, got water stained up. <laughs> Trying to stress you out a little bit, babe. Tough day on your boy. Ended up with two, two all day. This is the thing. I, I uh, a lot of things are changing. The pressure got worse in the areas that I was fishing, um, and it just you know I think things are definitely changing. Now I didn't. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. I probably could have went back through some of the areas. I really just felt like I could fish, um, and I didn't lean on places that I probably should had. Um, but hey. We go out tomorrow, we made the knockout round, and I think the biggest thing is it could be a positive because what I feel like more than anything is so much is, is changing here on Lake Travis that I need to make a couple of adjustments, I need to figure out a couple different patterns, and if I can get a current pattern that is happening right now that's really starting to develop, that's when you can win. So, hey, I'm looking forward to getting back out there. We're gonna see what these boys, I, maybe Lurch is coming over tonight? Is that what he's doing? Yeah, he's Lurch, already, oh yeah, Lurch is he's already there making food. Oh, Lurch is already on it. So, hey, I'm looking forward to the night with the boys and time to re-rig, get her stuff together, head back out to the pond. Okay. All right, y'all. We got to rig up. Get our stuff together, put some new put some new line on. Oh, get after them bright and early in the morning. I gotta come up with a game plan in the next little bit and figure out what the heck's going on. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though. We're gonna chow down with Lurge and everybody there at the house. We will see you in the knockout round.